Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix product has inventory but shows as sold out. I already made multiple videos about this, but if you are sure that you have inventory but the product shows as sold out, let me show you guys multiple methods on how you can solve this problem. Okay, this is going to be a step by step tutorial. I'm going to show you exa exactly like all the methods I know on how you can fix this. Okay, the first one, let's start with the most easy one, is to go to settings at the very bottom left and you want to click here on locations. Okay, so after guys, you click on locations, you want to select which location you have inventory. Okay, so, so if you have only one location, you want to click on it. If you have multiple locations, you want to click on the location here. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to see here, fulfillment, use inventory at this location to fulfill online orders. Now, you just need to enable it, okay? It's garage for me because like this is the default location. So if you have like multiple locations, you will be able to see this button here and check it, okay? Or you can just create another location here by adding here the shop name, the address, and then you can check this, okay? So after you check it, you want to click here, it says view inventory, okay? So after guys, you click on view inventory, you want to add here the correct uh, the correct in uh, quantity you have. So in my case, I'm going to add here 20, okay? And 20 on hand. After that, you want to click on save, okay? So after guys, you click on save, check now if the problem is resolved or not okay if you still have the problem then keep watching because i'm going to be showing you like i said multiple methods on how you can fix this problem so another way guys is to click here on products and what you guys need to do next is you want to find the product you have a problem with if you have like all the products on your store are out of stock it may be a glitch okay so this may be a temporarily like uh thing so you just need to wait uh before like after like uh before like uh shopify fixes the problem so if all if you have like a, the problem only with like few products then you want to click on the product and you want to scroll down a little bit and as you can see this product has like multiple variants as you can see the multiple colors now just need to click on one of these okay so if you click on one of these if you scroll down you will be able to see this track quantity checked if it's checked you want to uncheck it okay just uncheck it and then click on save okay so after that you want to go back okay you want to go back to the product page as you can see you will be able to see like i said multiple variants here now what you guys need to do is you want to check variants that you have a problem with okay for example these three three variants this show out of stock even though i still have inventory you just need to click on three little dots here as you can see and then you want to scroll down okay and click on continue selling when out of stock now as you can see if you scroll down here let's see, let me check uh i'm going to click here on trace of thoughts okay so let me just check this one okay so yeah you just need to okay so you just need to select another variant okay and you want to scroll down I just scroll down it, this is like okay so it's fixed now i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do this so on each variant as you can see here you just need to click on the variant you have a problem with and you want to scroll down and after that you want to for example if you if you if you checked this track quantity um it's already checked and you see here it's checked you just need to click here it says uh check it and then click on toggle this way it says continue selling when out of stock and here the available quantity you just need to increase it to the quantity desired and then click on save okay so after you click on save then you can check now if the problem is still there on this specific variant okay so if you have like the problem with all the variants here you want to go one by one and like i said do the exact same thing okay if you if you if it's if it's checked if the qu tw track quantity is checked you want to select this one that says continue selling going out of stock okay the available quantity i'm going to set it to and then click on save okay so there, are, there is another way guys to fix this problem which is um let me show you here so another way guys is to click on settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on shipping and delivery 
now after that you want to click on general shipping rates now if you are uh using third party that like fillfuls like printify or printful whatever um app you are uh, you downloaded on your store what you guys need to do, you will find it here in the fulfillment location you will find the app here name okay so what you guys need to do is to click on it okay click on this pencil icon here next to the app okay so after you click on it you will be able to see two options like here you will be able to see add new rates okay in the top now this one it says only one this location will no longer ship products in this profile but in the top you will be able to see that uh add new uh rates okay that's what you need to do you want to add you want to click on it okay and then you want to click on done okay so after guys you click on done what you guys need to do next is you just need to, for example here yeah like this as you can see in portify uh, then what you guys need to do next after you do this since the customers won't be able to check out okay let me just show you guys exactly how you can fix this so after that you just need to click here on add rates okay so here you want to name the the zone which is us way to usa shipping no, don't worry customers will not be able to see this and then i'm going to select here uh the country i'm going to go with for example um asia for example now here the customer rate name i'm going to st standard and here the price you just need to add the price here or i uh, uh, leave it like this it's free shipping and that's it uh, guys and then click on done okay and then after guys you click on done now check if the problem is still there or not okay go and see if the problem is uh, is uh, resolved if it's not then let me show you another way okay so guys you just need to go to products and you want to click on the product and you want to click here it says status you just need to make sure it's active okay so some people they leave it here like draft and that's why it shows us uh, sold out you just need to click here on active and then click on save okay so make sure you always save your changes to make this work so if this one guys helped you please drop a like and if it does not let me know in the comments or give me your shopify store link i will let you know guys what you need to do okay i will try to reply to everyone see you guys next tutorial